Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, I got inspired to do this fall makeup look on this palette that I bought. And this could even be a spring look, but I mean, look also. But you will probably be seeing this video after this other video that I talk about this palette. Stuff that I bought for my birthday for myself. So I hope you guys go watch that one first once it goes up. And then you guys will be watching this one. So I bought the Subculture Anastasia... Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills, yeah, Beverly Hills, um, palette, and I used about, three, I used three eyeshadows out of, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen, I believe. Fourteen eyeshadows from here. So yeah, so if you guys wanna go see how I create this look, then keep on watching. And before we get started, don't forget to go subscribe, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tiny look for you guys. And also, I'll be showing you an outfit to go with the fall. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Again, don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys. So to moisturize my face, what I am using is this toner that my best friend made for me and I mean I paid for him to make me this toner. It basically has aloe vera and this other great ingredients. Now to prime the eyelids, I'm using the concealer from Ulta. This is a full coverage concealer. If you're looking for a really cheap, good concealer that you will like and that it's full coverage, you should try this one out. Now the first shade that I add to transition all the colors that I'll be using is I went with Roxy. It's a very orangey coral shade as you can see and just blend this very well. Now something I have to say about this eyeshadows from the Subculture palette is they are very pigmented guys. They are very pigmented as you will be able to see here with the next shade for my crease to darken it up. I go with All Star. And I was like, 
Whoa, they are so pigmented. I grabbed too much. And something I saw on the review from other people, other YouTubers reviewing this palette was that they do have some fallout. I didn't really see any fallout on my face. The only thing is that when I went to go grab Roxy, it was more on the chalky sign. So I just, I blend those shades together, uh, All Star and Roxy. And once I blend it all up, it wasn't as intense. And then I was drinking my smoothie this morning that I made. If you guys want a video on me showing you guys what type of smoothies I like making and all the ingredients and yeah, just let me know down in the comment section below. So the next shade I went with and the last shade I went with was electric. Now this was the lid shade and I was undecisive. I wasn't sure if to use electric or adorn. I kind of should have used adorn. I was having a hard time making this shade pop and show. I was even thinking about wetting the brush with some setting spray, which maybe next time I will do that. So I just went back more with the all-star shade to fix the crease shade and to darken it up and then I sometimes go back with the transition brush and I won't grab any more transition shade I will just whatever it has I will blend that blend all those shades together now I did go with all star down in the bottom lash line now q-tips always come out handy to clean up any mess you might have done so for foundation what I used was the LA colors truly matte long wearing high pigmented foundation in the shade deep tan now I went with the matte foundation because I was going to be outside and even though the high was going to be 80 degrees today. I I knew I wasn't really going to be sweating and I wasn't even sweating at all today. But I thought about wearing this one and it actually holds on pretty well. I do one con I would say is my face does feel kind of oily but it's not really oily if that makes any sense so I just use a beauty blender and I blend everything together and to set the face, I go with the 
LA Colors Press Powder in beige. And maybe I should get a better setting powder and hopefully my face won't feel or it will look a lot better. Now to contour my nose, I am using this new brush that I got at TJ Maxx. It's supposed to be a lash line brush, but I used it to contour my nose. And I guess it works kind of okay. I did have to go with another more fluffier brush as you will be able to see here in a bit from BH Cosmetics. Now the powder I used was by Beauty Treats Face Powders to uh, Contour Collection. I always mix two shades up. I don't know, like, I'm kind of not a big thing on contouring my face because I feel like I already have a pretty slim face so I don't really need to enhance any of my face features but I more bronze up my face now to clean up that contour slash bronze that I did on my cheekbones. I use this press setting powder from Ulta in Banana. I also went towards my nose to not have harsh, a heart, harsh line. Now for blush, I used this blush from this Ulta Beauty Kit. The blush name is called Rose Blush. Now I went with that with an e.l.f. brush. And for highlight, I, I first spray my face. So the setting spray I decided to use was this, I mean, it's not a new setting spray for me, but this time I got a matte one. So I used the Ulta Beauty Matte Makeup Setting Spray and it smells pretty good, even though I don't really like the sprayer. But yeah, the highlight I use is this Ultra Beauty Duo Chrome Illuminator in sheer holographic finish. In the name, Prismatic Fairy. And I go with an e.l.f. highlighting brush. And to highlight the brow bone, I believe I used Cube from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Now for mascara, I used the Lash Paradise, Voluminous Lash Paradise. And I actually really like this mascara, guys. So I think you should go purchase it. I always curl my eyelashes first, then apply the mascara, then wait for the mascara to dry a bit. And then I curl my eyelashes 
one more time. Now as for the lips, again, it's this by Ulta Beauty, believe me, I'm not sponsored by, you, by Ulta, I just love using Ulta products, so I'm using this matte lip crayon in Soray, and even though I don't feel like it's very matte, it's very creamy though and moisturizing. I feel like it doesn't dry out your lips. But yeah guys, that's basically it. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this fall makeup look. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up guys and now here is my outfit and leave any other video suggestions down in the comment section below and yeah guys love you guys remember that no one is perfect and we're all beautiful in our own way and don't let anyone tell you